miss you guys so so much thank you for joining me today oh my gosh we have a very very awesome video set up for you today the title of today's video is why god allows sickness in my body you guys i'm going to answer this for you it's going to be a two-part series i'm going to do the first video today and give you the first answer today you guys and so before we get started please please go ahead and press the like button because oh my gosh this information people are going to be searching for this you guys and i am giving the answer today one of the answers today and one of the answers will be released Release in another video next week in regards to why did God allow sickness in my body, right? And so here it is. I'm going to share with you some information that's going to blow you away. You all have been wondering, why did these bad things happen to my health? Well, I like you was wondering the same thing about my health in my prayer closet i would ask the lord god i would say father you know why did this happen i mean uh did i do something wrong you know what what was it so i was recently fasting you guys and god answered my prayer why i walked through those different diagnoses and sicknesses during 2016 to 2018 why was this allowed? Did I let a door open right in my life? Uh, was there any unforgiveness? Uh, what did I do wrong? What happened to me? You know, what happened to my sister? What happened to my mom? You know, some of you guys are asking out there. Well, my friend, God did something miraculous. I went on a doctor's appointment this Tuesday and while on that doctor's appointment, I received my answer. I was talking to a good friend of mine and oh my gosh, he gave me the answer to my prayer. Not realizing that I was even gonna get an answer, right? I just happened to talk about, you know, what I was praying to God about and the Holy Spirit spoke to him and said these things. God is saying to you right now, no, 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 you did not sin. You did nothing wrong. Lanisa, you did nothing wrong. You are a righteous person. Like Job in the Bible, he said it was similar to a Job situation. You stayed clear from evil like Job. You stayed clear from evil. You loved me and you stayed in my presence. This is your answer right here. My child, this is a test. It's a test of your faith. So I want to cover two reasons why um, sickness is allowed in our bodies. Two reasons why this happens. Uh, and so today I'm going to cover the first reason. Again, the answer is it's a test of your faith. Okay. It was several tests in the area of faith concerning my health, but I know you all out there, you can walk through this. You can walk through this storm. You can walk through this. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. You have the faith to believe this. This will not end in death. This sickness will not end in death. Do not get discouraged. Do not quit. Do not have disbelief or unbelief or be deceived in thinking that God put this sickness on you to teach you a lesson. This is not God. First of all, let's be so clear with this. God did not put this sickness on you at all. All sickness, you guys, all sickness comes from the devil. He's the originator of sickness and disease, Satan, the devil himself. Again, God only allowed this to show Satan. You have the faith to stand and believe God's word to heal you, okay? The Lord is just bragging on you. Did you consider my daughter, Lanisa? Did you consider my son, John? Did you consider them? Okay, just like Job. So no matter what the devil tries, Lanisa, 
Jeff, Susie, Mike, John out there, Paul, Paula, Sue, Bruce, Kim. They are not going to back back. They are not going to back down. They're not going to lose their faith. They're going to stick with me. They're going to stick with God. Because Lanisa believes, John believes, Jeff believes, Paula believes, Kim believes in my word. By my stripes, you are healed. Supernaturally, I will heal you. So, you will not try to help God out in any way to get the answer quicker to get the healing quicker you will trust god you will trust god and him alone okay so if we look at job chapter 1 verses 6 through 12 in job it talks about verses 6 through 12 it says one day the members of the heavenly court came to present themselves before the lord the accuser Satan came with them. The Lord asked Satan, where have you come from? Satan answered the Lord, I have been patrolling the earth, watching what's going on. Then the Lord said to Satan, have you noticed my servant Job? He's the finest man in all the earth. He's blameless, a man of complete integrity. He fears God and stays from evil. Satan replied to the Lord, yes, he has a good reason to fear you, God. You always put a wall of protection around him. You have always put a wall of protection around him and over his property. See, Satan couldn't even get to him because there was a hedge of protection around him. Okay, there was a hedge of protection around him. So he couldn't touch Job or his property or his family or his children or his cattle or sheep. Furthermore, Satan says, you, God, you've made him prosper in everything he does. Look how rich he is. But if I reach out and take everything he has, he will surely curse you to your face. God said, all right, all right, you may test him. The Lord said to Satan, do whatever you want with everything he possesses but do not kill him so satan left his presence god's presence and satan took all his children killed his children killed his sheep stole his camel killed his servants and he saw job tearing his robe job shaved his head and he bowed down and he worshiped god isn't that amazing? Job worshiped God. He didn't curse God. He didn't lose his faith. He didn't say, forget this. No. How powerful is that? He shaved his head, tore his robe. He was like, I, I'm just going to worship God. Satan saw that this didn't work. This first test, this first test he went through. This is similar to what some of you guys are going through. You lost a loved one or some loved ones through a tragedy, a terrible car accident, or a fire, a storm, a tsunami, a murder, right? And Satan thought, okay, I can get them. They'll turn back in their faith and they won't continue with God in anything. But this didn't stop you. This did not stop Job either. You didn't lose your faith. Of course, Job didn't lose his faith. And I didn't lose my faith. So Satan went to God again a second time, you guys, a second time. And he said, I bet if I take away his health, he will definitely curse you, God, to your face and walk away from the faith. So he struck Job with terrible bulls from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. So it was hard. It was hard for Job. He went through all these health challenges concerning these boils and 
watching himself, you know, shed, you know, all the stuff and his friends, they were like, he must have done something wrong, you know, repent. And Job was like a righteous man, like God said, he, he didn't do anything wrong. But God, 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 God has been with me too. There's nobody, nobody that can do what God can do. He sticks closer than a brother, closer than friends, closer than your mother, your sister. He is everything. He's my hope. He's my peace. He's my provider. He's my healer, you guys. He's my help. He's my salvation, right? He's everything to me. He said he will be with, with us in trouble. He said he's going to deliver us. He said many are the afflictions of the righteous, but he shall deliver us from them all. Not even lupus, not even cancerous tumors in my body, bronchial ectasis, not even that, heart palpitations, high blood pressure, no not even extra, the extra heartbeat that they found, not even uh, kidney failure, uh, kidney disease, uh, none of these things change my faith or my faith in God. Nothing that Satan brought upon me or Job in the Bible, and some of you can testify to this, those that are watching me right now, nothing, no sickness, no disease will cause me or you to turn back in our faith because greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world, Satan. Does God know, you guys, that you have that kind of faith? Does God know this, that you will believe his word no matter what happens, no matter what comes your way or to your body? that you'll believe him no matter what the doctors say or what diagnosis they give, that you'll believe God and his word because his word is your roadmap. His word is truth. You're going to believe God. You're going to stand on his word until you see the manifestation of the promise that he promised you. He spoke it in your heart. He spoke to you some of you out there and told you exactly what he's going to do. Believe God. In Numbers 23, 19, it says, God is not a man that he should lie or the son of man that he should repent. You guys, what he's spoken, he will do it. What he said, he will make good on it. Do you hear me out there? He is the creator of this world. He is God. Nothing is impossible with him. Not a thing. He did it. He will do it. He will do it. He created everything in this world. There is nothing that you see that he did not create. He will do the impossible. Okay? Whatever looks impossible to you, he will turn it around and make it possible. He can make you complete. He can restore you. He said in his word, he will restore you and he will heal every wound. He said that in Jeremiah uh, 30, uh, verse 16 or 17. Sickness and disease, losing family members, losing your health. Uh, this will not set you back. It will, it will not. God will fight for you. God will fight for you and you will recover all. This is a test of your faith, you guys. You will trust God completely in this and he will do what he said he will do. He's not a man that he should lie, you guys. So just like Job, he will give double for your trouble. Double for your trouble. Believe me when I say this. Okay, so this is the first part to the, the question, why, why was this sickness allowed in my body? Why? It was a test. It was a test of your faith. Job went through it. I went through it. And so this is the first reason why. Okay, and so this concludes 
the first video. We're going to do a part two on this series, okay? I love you so much. Thank you so much for joining me. Share this video with your friends. I will talk to you soon. I love you so, so much. And by the way, that's my baby in the background. I uh, had a grandson um, May 3rd, on May 3rd, and that's why you haven't been seeing me much. So much has been going on, but oh my God, he's a joy. We love him so much, you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.